Hey, what's up guys? It's Nick White. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. And um, I do all the Leco problems. If you want to see stuff, check the description. I have everything about me. And um, I'm doing all these problems. I have a ton of them on my page, so check them out. These are really good. Any You probably would know this if you're doing Leco code, but it's basically how you get a job or internship at some of the top tech companies. So this one's called Range Sum of a Binary Search Tree. Uh, given a root node of a binary search tree, return the sum of all values of all nodes between with a value between L and R. So we're given these L and R variables, these integers in our method, and we're given the root to a um, binary search tree. And we want to traverse the tree. So we want to go through all the nodes in the tree. And if the current value, these the node values are all integers, you can see up here in the class. Um, if the value lies between our range, we're going to add it to our range sum variable, right? So we're going to have this range sum variable set to zero at the beginning. We're going to traverse the whole tree and if the value of the current node that we're traversing lies between our range, uh, so if the value is greater than the left boundary and less than the right boundary, or greater than or equal to and less than or equal to, uh, we add it to our range sum and then we just return the range sum. Pretty easy. So there's an iterative solution and a recursive solution like all these other tree problems. I'll just do them both for you really quick. So in the iterative solution that we're doing first, uh, you just have a stack, equal to new stack, um, you add the root to the stack. It's basically the same. Um, you can put do stack.push or stack.add uh, root. So we just push root onto the stack. And then while stack dot is not empty, just like all the other ones, um, we just, you can do this. You can do a check here. If node is not equal, you can, uh, well, we pop the current node off the stack, first of all. So we'll just pop that. And then you can do if node not equal to null, you can do that check here. Um, then all we have to do is do our check that I was talking about earlier. If node.val is lies between our boundary, so if it's greater than or equal to L, and you have to do and, not val, is less than or equal to R. So if it lies between our boundary, we just add it to our range sum. Not one, sorry, node.val gets added to our range sum. And then here's the only tricky part, I guess. It's not even that tricky. Um, you have to do these two calls afterwards to, not calls, but um, you have to, if you, a binary search tree, how it works is the left children are going to be smaller values and the right children will be greater. So if the, if our value of our current node that we're traversing is greater than the left boundary, that means we still can check left child nodes. So um, we just have to do this check. If the node value is greater than our left boundary, we can add the node dot left child onto the stack because we're going to be traversing all the nodes in the stack and um, yeah we just keep doing that check each time and if it's greater than I mean if it's less than right um, then we could add the right child to the stack because it means that since it's still less than um, right then we can keep searching on the right children because they're going to be greater in value until we get to the right boundary, then we're not going to look at those children anymore. Um, and that's pretty much it. And then all you have to do is return um, range sum after this. And this is the iterative solution. Um, tree node, sorry. These are tree nodes. Always got to remember syntax when you do these. Uh, stack, sorry, stack.push. Get a push onto the stack. Yeah, everyone makes mistakes, guys, sorry. There we go. Solution's perfect. If you didn't want to do the node not equal null check here, you could obviously just do and and node dot left not equal to null here and and node dot right not equal to null here just so we don't throw null pointer exceptions and then you could kind of just not have this check right there and I'm pretty sure this would work still. Yeah, so that still works. You just got to make sure to do like, uh, you make sure there's no null pointers being thrown. All right, let me show you the um, the DFS solution, recursive solution really quick here too. Um, so we'll have this public void um, get range sum method where we take in uh, tree node root. This is the same solution that we just did. Um, it's just going to be a recursive solution and recursion uses stack space and we use just a stack in the iterative solution anyway. So it doesn't really matter which one you do. Uh, if you're used to the tree problems, a lot of them use stack, so I would do the iterative one, but sometimes the recursive solutions can be a lot easier and simpler, uh, especially lines of code-wise. So 
We'll just have our int range sum declared up here so that we can access it down in this method below. Uh, we'll initialize it to zero, and then we'll do this call right here, range, get range sum of uh, roots L and R, and then we'll just do um, return range sum because basically we just do this call here. It'll handle everything. It'll update this range sum at the top, and then, um, yeah, that'll be it. The range sum will be ready to return because it'll have gotten updated down below. So um, if root is not equal to null, then we can do our recursive calls, get range sum on, and we want to also do if root.val, so we can do our boundary check right here, is greater than L, and um, it's the same stuff as the iterative solution, root.val is less than or equal to R, then we do um, range sum plus equals root.val, uh, and then it's the same, literally the same stuff. Um, if root.val is greater than L, that means we can do our recursive call on the left children because it's still greater than the left boundary, so the left children um, are still fine to search. Get range sum of root.left, L, R, and then the same call as the iterative solution on the right side. Uh, less than r, get range sum on root dot right, l, r. Uh, hopefully this makes sense, hopefully it works first try too. Yep, works first try. All right, great, that's the iterative and recursive solution for both you, for you guys. This is kind of a DFS recursive solution or you can use a stack, whatever way you want to do it is, they're both pretty similar in my opinion, they're almost the same stuff. So just, uh, I don't know, try them both out, see which ones you kind of like better. There's uh, It's kind of a choice you have for all these tree problems, but yeah, that was um, get uh, range sum of BST, pretty cool problem. Check out all the other ones. I think I've done almost all the tree problems on lead code. So let me know what you guys think of the explanation below and thank you guys for watching. See ya.